Hello and welcome to another tutorial video. My name is Ian Green from ianjgreenpiano.com. You can, um, well, you're welcome to uh, visit any of the other videos on this channel. And please like and subscribe to this channel so you can uh, stay in tune with all the new updates that'll be coming regularly to you. Today we're going to be learning about a new song called uh, Changing Moods. It's kind of a, a song plus an exercise as well. And this is on pages 48 and 49 in the Piano Adventures Level 2A lesson book. Now I've got a digital copy of this book on this iPad here that I've purchased from Amazon.ca. You can buy the Kindle version of any of these particular books from this great publisher, Faber and Faber. Um, but you can also buy the paper copy as well too. And it's always suggested to, to su support the, the artists that create this great content. Now today what we're going to be doing is uh, speaking about how in a major scale, the first five notes of a major scale have a whole tone, whole tone, half step, and then a whole step. So there's a specific sound that is created. And when we have a minor scale, um, which is uh, this is outlined on the top of page 48, by the way. This uh, the organization of whole tones and half and half steps is a bit different. It's a whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. So a major five finger scale is whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, and a minor five finger scale is whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. So you can see how it uh, there's a different combination of those patterns. Now, when we create different patterns using the combinations here, we create different sounds. So for example, in C major, it will sound like this. And in C minor, it will sound different. Now, something that's interesting is that with the five note scale of, with it, which is also known as a pentascale, with any of these combinations, what we can do is notice how um, the third or the middle key of a triad is changed. So we have minor and major. And you can also see how the pattern, the third note of the scale is the same as the chord. So that's something interesting to take a notice of. Now what I'll do is I'll play through each of these exercises so you can hear what they sound like. I'll start off with C major. And C minor. Now let's go to G major. And now to G minor. Next is D major. And then D minor. And then after that, we have A major. And lastly, on this page, A minor. So as an exercise, something that is really good to do is to practice each of these different sets of, of exercises in groups. You can see how C major and C minor both start on C, but there's a different sound because of the way that the pattern of the pentascale works. And then you can do the same thing practicing G major and G minor, etc. These are also um, applicable on any key. But these ones that we have listed on pages 48 and 49 that Mr. and Mrs. Faber created in this book um, are the ones that are covered most commonly in the lo a lot of the pieces that are covered in this uh, particular series in this level at level 2A. So have some fun as you're practicing these exercises. They are very interesting and they really help to give a sound and an appreciation for major and minor keys and the scales and chords that fit with them. My name is Ian Green and thank you again for watching. 
please join um, and visit um, Ian by, uh, ianjgreenpiano.com. Sorry, that's again, ianjgreenpiano.com. And also please uh, subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos. Thank you so much. Take care and have fun practicing.